the fortress and see what I got. Hey farmhands, Farm Reef here. How's everyone doing today? So in this episode of the Superman build, we're going to learn what salt I'm going to use that's going to power this tank, a little bit about it. So when it comes to salt in a reef tank, it's very important what you go with. There's a lot of different qualities of salt in this industry. You can go right down to your basics. That's going to cost you about $40, $50 a bucket. You can go with the ones that cost you $60, $70 a bucket. And it all depends on you know how much money you want to spend and what you want to take and do with your tank. There's all leaps and bounds. Um, but you got to make sure whatever salt you're using, um, what kind of products they're putting in there. Is it a high quality product? And that's what it comes down to price. If it's a cheaper salt, they're you probably using a lot of different uh, cheaper uh, materials to put in that salt. So just be careful with that, guys. And sometimes if you're mixing up your salt, you look in the bottom of your buckets, you can see if there's like a dark scum in there. I mean, it's might they could be using a lot lower end products as well. Um, so I've always been using uh, the H2 Ocean uh, salt from D&D. It's been working awesome. Uh, if you check them online, plus uh, if you ever go online and check out uh, David Saxby's tank there, awesome, running on H2 Ocean Salt. You can guys see how many different tanks are running on it. Uh, you can buy it online, Marine Depot, all different places, and uh, to check that out. So that's what we're going to learn today. I use D&D H2 Ocean Salt on all my tanks, had very great success, and it works for me, so I'm going to stick with it. So whatever salt you're using, stick with it, guys. If it works, if it's not broken, don't fix it, usually they say. But yeah, all different kinds of salts out there, and I'm not going to knock any different salt or ever because, you know, you wouldn't want to get in trouble. You know, all the trolls coming after you. So you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm with the D&D, &D, and that's what I'm going to use. So i got a big bucket of it here today, and this is what we're going to use to power the Superman build. It's got a, it's a, this one here is a solar evaporation salt, so it's evaporated right out of the ocean. So, one thing that D&D is going to do as well, they're going to add their own chemistry mix to this. And what they did here is they boost up that magnesium level, so it's great. You know, always want to keep your magnesium at the same level, your calcium, all that stuff, the alkalinity. So, this is what I'm using, and if you want to learn any more information about this, just go on their website, and you guys can read all about it. They're very helpful. So, what we got to do is we're going to go down to the furnace room. I got the brand new RO water sitting there waiting for us. I end up, we ended up in our other videos. We hooked up uh, the Vertex RODI uh, filtration system. It's working awesome, guys. It's kicking out 00, zero ppm, just what I want. It's just exactly textbook. It's, uh, it's water's perfectly clean. Just to put in this brand new build, you want to start off just perfect. So, yeah, you guys seen that video. There's a lot of updates coming. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go downstairs. We're going to put this salt in there. We're going to show you how easy this is to mix. It just dissolves perfectly. And, you know, it, we can pretty much use it right after it's uh, all uh, mixed up. We can probably give it a half an hour and we can get that right into the tank and make sure uh, make sure your salinity's bang on. I run mine about 0 0.025 on there. So that's what I am do, doing on all my tanks. But everyone's different. All right, gang. So let's head down. Let's get this salt all mixed up, and then we can finally get it into the Superman tank, get it powered, get the pumps going, get the water flowing, and then next thing after that, we're gonna start uh, doing the cycle of the bacteria using the polyp lab genus. So let's head downstairs. All right, farm hands. So down in the furnace room right now, there's my new bucket of RO water, crystal clear, good to go. I got a power head in there. Gonna mix up the salt. So we end up our other video. We got that hooked up. So everything worked out perfectly. So we got zero ppm going into my uh, into my water. So I got my D and D H2 Ocean Salt here. See how it's all perfectly packaged up. There's the bucket. If you guys are checking out, you want to get, and it comes perfectly sealed. And so we're just going to open that up. And what I like to do is take this right out of the bag, dump it, and just mix it up inside the the bucket. Because while it's being transported or whatever, you know, on transports and stuff, all the vibration, some of the the elements could weigh heavier than others and sink right to the bottom. So you want to make sure and mix that right up. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to start getting mixing the water up and get everything that's dissolved. And then we can start putting it in the tank. Our hands. So we're going to mix this up. Um, one other thing that I use with this uh, salt is their, the D&D H2 Ocean uh, refractometer. Um, this is one I use on this salt. And every time you make sure if you get a new one, you want to calibrate it. So I'm just going to have this here so it's ready when I get all the water mixed up to make sure the salinity's bang on. So we're going to start putting it in. So I've got the pump going. I'm just going to start putting it in here. I'll bring you guys in, show you how easy this is going to mix up. All right, so let's start mixing it up. So I'll just show you right here. It just dissolves like perfect, guys. I like it and it just takes so long you don't have to to wait and get that right in your tank. 
I'll just show you what one cup does here. It's dissolving away. You can, start, you can see the pump down there. See that? Pretty much dissolved there right now. So every time you get like a new brute, you'll figure out how many cups it takes to get to your 0 0.025. So that was one cup, and then you can write it down so you know exactly, and you can go to do it again. So that's two cups. You get that pump moving around, so it's shooting the right way. That's two. Very. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this all mixed up and all ready to go. For our hands, so the water's all mixed up. I'm going to show you. See, look how perfectly crystal clear that is. So all I'm going to do now is transfer this into a bucket and then we're going to take that up and put that in the Superman tank and get the tank started. And so now we're going to start adding the D&D H2 Ocean Salt into the sump so and get this party started. Let's get some more. Sure is. All right, bucket number two. All right, so now we got to turn the pump up. Start putting it into the tank. All right, so let's turn the pump on and start filling up the main display. Let's turn this one. I'm just going to turn it on slow so it doesn't spray all over the place. All right, farm hands. So we got the Superman. It's all filled with uh, D and D H two Ocean Salt. That's what's going to be powering this tank. So we got it all filled up. I got to mix up just a little bit more just to top off the sump. I didn't actually have enough, so I got to just go ahead and do that later on. Um, next, got to do is I got to get the the Tons of Sun's uh, power head in here and get that into place to get some more water movement. And then I can get the protein skimmer turned on, and then we can start doing the cycle on this. So thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, make sure to leave all your comments below. And stay tuned for the next episode. We're going to start doing the whole cycling process. So please subscribe and hit that like button.